Comparing three-digit numbers really stems from comparing two-digit numbers in first grade. So if your students are struggling with three-digit numbers, let's bring it back to two-digit numbers and make sure they understand the concept of that. These faux mats are fantastic for that. Here I'm using playing cards, four tens, four tens is 40, four tens, six ones, four ten six, forty six. That's the language that's being used in first grade. Nine ten four. Nine ten four is ninety four. One ten five fifteen. So then let's turn over the foam mat and let's do the same concept with hundreds. Often what happens is this activity becomes how many tens are there? There's eight tens. How many hundreds are there? There's nine hundreds. But instead, let's offer a different way to look at this. Nine hundreds means nine hundred. Eight tens, eighty. So far we have nine hundred eighty. Six ones is six. So far we have nine hundred eighty six. Nine hundred, nine hundred twenty. 927. That's going to allow you to compare two three-digit numbers. So here we have 200, 230, 234. Let's see if we can make a larger number. 700. Here you can ask, do we know we made a larger number already? How? And the conversation here is going to lend itself to, well, seven hundreds is seven hundred and two hundreds is two hundred. Seven hundred is a greater number than two hundred. So this number is going to be bigger. But let's go ahead and continue it. Eight tens is 80. What number do we have so far? Powerful language to keep them engaged in understanding what each of these place values mean. Seven hundred eighty. Now we have nine ones, seven hundred eighty nine. We know that 789 is greater than 234. We also know that 234 is less than 789. So this is an intro step in really making sure students understand the concept of three digit numbers and it might need to be scaled back and scaffolded a little bit to tens and ones. All right, enjoy.